Hi everyone, welcome to Bond Bikes, a daily bond market highlights from Mainar Bonds. I'm Arjun Parsati, and with inflation rising very fast on the back of rising energy prices, it is hitting consumers hard and also hitting the state electricity boards because of the fact that they are unable to pass on the high cost of inputs, which includes coal, and to the end user largely because of the fact that the prices are subsidized. And with state governments now finding it difficult for, on the financial front, they have been borrowing heavily and, uh, and uh, this year they will be borrowing record amounts of money along with the central government. Bond deals have also risen very sharply. He said deals at, uh, have, are at 7.15%. Having come down from 7, 7.25% in the last five days, but it's still at a couple of years' highs and is likely to go higher as inflation shoots up. And uh, the whole, the, the, the back part of it is that uh, given that state electricity boards are perennially making losses and this energy crisis is furthering the losses, then uh, the, they, uh, their borrowing uh, it gets to be difficult. And uh, many of the state, state electricity boards have issued bonds uh, which have been invested by provident funds and even retail investors uh, looking at the higher yields. And these bonds have largely been guaranteed by the state government. UPPC and the UP Power Corporation had issued with this 5,000 crores of bonds in March and guaranteed by the UP state. And all these uh, bonds, if, if the state government finances are constrained and many state governments are now clamoring that they don't have money. And then uh, could, how will they service these bonds? So in that sense, the riskiness of these bonds rise and when riskiness of these bonds rise along with interest rates also going up, then the yields of the bonds can also rise. So investors have to be careful of what are the structures, which uh, what are the finances of the state, how can, uh, are they strong enough to support all their guarantees? And if these state government uh, entities are making further losses because of high input prices, which has not been passed on to the end consumer, then it could be a bigger problem. And uh, we did see that they had a, SCBs had a huge problem about six, uh, seven, eight years back, and they had to issue what is called Uday bonds, which was again guaranteed by the state. But here the RBI supported the borrowing uh, to a structure where they were equivalent to a state development loan, which is uh, again supported by the RBI and the central government. So this seems to be developing a fresh uh, energy crisis. And the best place to come to look at the further developments on this, where the bond deals are trading, etc., is INR bonds. In fact, we are having our uh, webinar on um, Saturday, the 23rd of April, to actually uh, uh, talk to financial advisors and advise them and uh, uh, educate them and provide them the research and information that is required to take those bonds to their investors because when as investors are by finding that the fixed income uh, returns are much lower than inflation, they need alternatives. And while bonds provide the alternatives, they need to look at what bonds to invest in. And the first place they'll go to look at bonds is to the financial advisors. And financial advisors need to know bonds to offer to their clients. Thank you very much for listening in. In other parts of the, in other areas of the market today, since it's in FT and the INR, and all those flats since it's in FT rose, the US Treasury is slightly fell, but still stayed at higher levels. And do not forget to download our app to invest by INR bonds to see the best bonds available for investments in a rising inflationary scenario. And uh, if you go to the description below, you can register, if you're a financial advisor, you can register for a webinar at 11 a.m. Saturday, 23rd April. And uh, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not done so already.